Hi friends, I'm Madhav Thaw from Easy Approach and it's the 24th video of Flutter video series. In this video, we're gonna see what sort of styling we can do with the text field. So it is the basic design I have uh, that I've created in the last video. I have a text field here, inside it, a controller associated with it. Now we have to do some basic designing with this text field. Now firstly, I want to show a border around every side of this text field. So what I can do, there's a property uh, to do decoration in this uh, text field so you have to go inside your uh, text field and here we have a property decoration and now we can pass here input decoration and inside this you can see a lot of properties here like enable borders hint tags fill color and there are a lot of other properties you can play with now firstly uh, to make uh, to have a border around every side of the text field you have to uh, choose enable border and now if I want to have the outline border around every side of the text field, I can choose outline input border. And inside this, you can change the color of your bottle. You can give the border radius uh, to your border. So firstly, I want to have a grayish color around every side. So we can give here border side. And inside this, you can have the color property and you can change the color. Like uh, we can give red for testing purpose. I know it would look uh, a bit awkward now if I refresh this sorry refresh it again maybe rerun it you can see the red border around every side of the text view you can give the border radius as well so that the borders show more curve so go inside the outline input border and here uh, we have a border radius and you can select border radius dot all if you want to apply uh, the border radius around every side around every corner and now you can uh, give here a radius dot circular and inside this you can give the radius a value so uh, let me let's give 30 and now if i refresh it you can see uh, the border radius around it so you can play with different uh, of value and you can have different sort of border now if i want to change this style or this border uh, when the user focus this text field so we can give another property we have focus border and now we can give the same outline border or we can copy this now if i want to just change the color when the user focus uh, this text field you can just come here and change the color now if i click if i give here green and refresh it now you can see it's enabled border is actually of red color but if i focus this fact text view you can see the border is changed now and is it is actually now green color now this is actually the enable border and the focus border now we can also give the prefix icon and the po uh, and actually what we have uh, there we have prefix icon you can also give the prefix icon with this text view so just give here icon object or icon widget and you can choose any icon you want so uh, let's give here anything yeah now if i refresh it you can see a prefix icon in this text field as well so if now i want to have hint in this text wheel as well i can give her hint hint text and here you have to pass the string now you can give anything like a search and if i refresh it you can now see the text actually inside this uh, text wheel as a hint as well there are a lot of other properties as well you can choose like we have uh, the suffix icon as well so if you want to add a suffix I icon you can also use this there's one more thing that you can have uh, there is a filled color and a filled property if you want to have if you want to fill your text field with some color You first have to give the property field which is actually a flag and here you have to pass true if you want Now you have to give the filled color as well. So if I want to fill this with a, a, a bit grayish color so you can pass here gray Just a bit gray and if I refresh it you can see the inside is actually now gray. Now, if I want to have uh, uh, the circular borders, uh, but I don't want to have the color of these borders, you can give here transparent as well. And I do it normally, quite often actually. Now, if I refresh it, you can see there is no border and now it looks uh, a bit uh, cute actually. <laughs> now, it is actually uh, a 
how to design or how to actually uh, play with the properties of the input decoration in the text wheel and how can you customize your text wheel uh, as far as its decoration is concerned so in the next video we'll uh, do some other stuff um, and we'll learn some new topics so if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel and share the videos with those who want to learn flutter with easy approach so thank you for watching